damn it, man, another version of clapping and yapping. And we're gonna talk about the AKV from Palmetto. This is what I call Ebony. Ebony is Palmetto AKV with the MOE furniture. Now, it's plum, but to me, it mostly looks brown, so I call it Ebony. So with Ebony, if you were to, well, first of all, they're sold out of this. So if you go to a size of the price, it ain't really there. But run you a little under $1,100. And things that are really cool about this is the the Picatinny rail at the very top on the dust cover. So you ain't got to go out and find it, some attachments to put on it, which unfortunately you don't really use the side rail on it. But you don't necessarily need a side rail since you got this, so you're good with that. And it has an awesome. Well, man, look, you see this right here. Bolt hole open on a daggum AK. That's just the greatest thing. You know what I'm saying? So, out, out the gate, that's one of the selling points of the thing. But, the safety on it is is something that you will pay extra money for if you are getting someone to buy I'm sorry someone to give you this option because it's enhanced where you can work this with your thumb up and down versus like some of the other AKs that I have you almost have to you bet you damn near I take your whole hand off to work it because it's, it's that damn tight this is a 10 and a half barrel and it's good to do backpack shit under the truck under the back seat of the truck type shit it has the tanker style muzzle brake that's great when shooting fast this motherfucker don't even raise up when you're shooting it at all so when you're out there busting Man, you don't stay on target. It, it, it almost, it almost plays. It almost makes you, it almost makes you better than what you really are. When you're out there shooting that fast and you're just hitting right in the middle of your target, you think, man, I'm motherfucking John Wick in this hole. Who, who gonna test me? Who gonna come and see me? You still have your fixed sights, which are kind of harder to use to me than it is when you're using a bigger size AK. Of, full size AK, a 762 by 39 AK, but I have on here a bush nail red dot, and this one, I don't know. I may get rid of it and get something else, maybe go Vortex, maybe go Hollow Sun on this thing, because I shot it outside in the sun, didn't have a good time, couldn't really, and not this particular one, but bush nail in general. Could be that that battery was dead, or dying, but wasn't that wasn't that good? This AKB Ebony and all the other AKBs are great because that Scorpion that I had before that I showed you, well, the AKB takes the same magazine, so the same magazine in the Scorpion goes into the AKB. Love it, love it a lot. Now, whenever you like something a lot, what do you end up doing? Oh, it bought the whole open baby, so I ain't about to have any mistakes. You see that there's nothing in the motherfucker. So, what do you do when you like something so much? You buy another one. Alright, this is olive oil. Actually, olive oil was the first one I bought. Ebony was the second one. Now, let me show you. You see the enhanced safety? I can't do that on my other AKs. Paul Mello did a good job at that. And on olive oil, this one has an ALG trigger. Straight out of the daggum gate. Paul Mello set you up with that. The rail is a tactical rail, so you have the Picatinny on top, your Picatinny on the dust cover, Picatinny on the gas tube, 
then you have the positions here for M lock. I got a strike front foregrip on here and another bush nail sight on here with a riser. And I'll probably put a riser on that one because it's easier to do a fast, a fast ready up position to get to your target versus that one with, with a low profile. I'll do a couple of more tests before I actually switch things up, but I'll probably put a rise on this thing. Because I don't need a cheek weld on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm right there versus on Ebony. I gotta put my face on here. But the good thing on this is actually, which I might not even change it, I have a co-witness. So I might leave it as is. All right, well, here's the situation with olive oil. I love olive oil, one of my favorite looking guns. But this same magazine, same magazine, I've had this problem. It's very embarrassing. Does not sit. I really have to jam this thing in there in order for it to go in there. And then I gotta push it back. I should not have to do that. That's a problem. So, oh, I also got the Veriforce oversized charging handle, but should not have to do that. I looked through here to try to figure out why was this a problem, because it's not a problem on Ebony, but it's a problem on this one. I think I got the situation understood. Let me show you. Right above the mag release, there's a difference between this one on Ebony, which there's a small, there's a small cut. And then if you look at olive oil, I noticed in olive oil, there's not that cut there. I think that is the problem. I've used multiple different magazines in you know, olive oil and still had the same problem. And since the good thing with Palmetto is that you do get a lifetime warranty on their products, and I've had this problem since I've had this gun, I'm gonna send it back, have them work on it, and hopefully make it low just like Ebony over here. So therefore it can be ready for me to actually use, whether if I'm doing competition, or just having some fun, or I just need to stop somebody from doing a daggum uh, insurrection at my house. So, that's what's gonna happen, but both of these, hmm, when you love something, you buy it twice. And that's what I have that going Clapping and yapping. We'll get it out there to the range after some other things going on. If you want to shoot with me, you let me know. You drop me a DM, hit me on, on my Instagram, which is guns, gains, and gold teeth. Or send me a message here on YouTube and we'll figure it out. I'm going to get back with you. Avoid the felony. Yeah.